so now let us quickly learn how to solve quadratic inequality like this one so as you already know that the quadratic inequality comes from the quadratic equation so we just have to solve that quadratic equation and find its two roots so the first step would be find the two roots of the quadratic equation in fact using the easy cal trick of faster algebra you can do it mentally it's so easy okay so let me quickly find the roots for you two factors of 16 whose sum or difference is 6 would be 2 and 8 adjusting the signs it would be 2 and minus 8 so the answer the roots would be minus 2 and 8 see I could do it mentally using the easy cal trick minus 2 and 8 would be the two roots of this quadratic equation now we are already done with the first step now come to the step number two just locate these two roots on the number line just make this number line and minus 2 you can put it here towards the left and 8 will be towards the right now you just have to mark the intervals how do you do that very easy if it is greater than then the interval will be outside region like this one that means all the values from positive 8 to positive infinity and from minus 2 to minus infinity this will be the answer interval and had it been less than then certainly you would have marked the inside region this one isn't it so if it is greater than it is the outside region if it is less than it is the inside region you can also sketch the quadratic equation graph just to impress the examiner all the more as you know that the quadratic equations they have a parabolic graph the umbrella shaped graph that's it have you understood it so if it is the greater than inequality like this one then it will be the outside region and if it is the less than inequality then it will be the inside region now there is a very interesting way a very easy cal way of remembering that now tell me use your imagination be creative what do these things look like don't they look like long moustaches they do yes <laughs> if you look more closely you'll see that they do, do look like moustaches okay I'll help you a little let's see uh, you can put the quadratic equation graph parabolic you want you can put a nose as well just to make it look more authentic now I'll put the eyes here as well see he's looking so cute like Charlie Chaplin all right so there you see now I'm really sure that you're never ever going to forget it that if it is greater than then it will always be the greater moustaches and if it is less than then it will always be the lesser moustaches okay so do this question really it should not take you more than 10 seconds so quickly tell me what are the two factors of 15 whose sum or difference is 8 obviously it's 5 and 3 isn't it 5 3 times is 15 and 5 plus 3 will be 8 now you can quickly adjust the signs now as you can see both the sum as well as the product is positive isn't it you have positive 8 and you have positive 15 that means both the numbers should be positive so we don't have to do anything leave them as it is so these are the factors now how do we find the roots yes by changing the signs so you'll have minus 5 and minus 3 because you have greater than inequality so you'll have greater moustaches that is outside region you can quickly mark it on the number line that's it you have solved this question now comes the best part now you have to pretend for the examiner that you actually did a back-breaking hard work to solve this question 
isn't it otherwise the examiner would not get impressed so try to put as many steps as possible I'm sure that you can solve these type of questions mentally now but then you have to put down as many steps as you can think of just to make it look more lengthy more complicated more difficult just for the sake of examiner so as you know that these are the factors so you can put it in the factor form this will be x plus 5 and this is plus 3 so x plus 3 and you can mark these minus 5 and minus 3 that is the roots of the quadratic equation as critical values these are called critical values in technical terms you know that critical values are nothing but the points from where the moustaches are going to start growing either outwards or inwards and then finally you can put solving the inequality we get that either x is greater than minus 3 or it is less than minus 5 that's it whatever you are seeing here just put it in a more mathematical way x is less than minus 5 or x is greater than minus 3 now this is how you should present your answer if you do it like that every examiner would be delighted he'll be grinning from ear to ear and giving you as many marks as possible now quickly do this question now this one is really simple you can do it mentally in five seconds let's see if we can do this question mentally now quickly tell me two factors of 18 whose sum or difference is 7 so obviously it is 9 and 2 adjusting the sign so make the bigger number negative so it will be minus 9 and 2 change the sign to get the critical values it would be plus 9 and minus 2 since it is the greater than inequality so what sort of moustaches the greater moustaches pointing outwards isn't it that's it that's the answer x would be less than minus 2 and x would be greater than 9 you can see it for yourself we did it mentally and this is the answer x less than minus 2 x greater than 9 and now we can put all these steps down even more than what it is written here just to impress the examiner all the more and make him believe that really we did a lot of hard work <laughs> yes <laughs> sure we did it mentally, isn't it? Without bothering ourselves too much. <laughs>